Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take so it's been using 4 5 days for evolution x but finally the cherry choice team has released their first stable update for oneplus 6 and 60 so i downloaded the update and clean flash rate what twrp i have given the clean flashing process in icard video you can follow it and flash the rom but if you are already on the cherry choice you will get the ot update notification you can also download from there and just tap install it will get automatically flash so today in this video we will see what are the new changes we get in the new build for the about phone and in the customization settings. We will also check are the previous bugs fixed or not. We will do the performance comparison with the old build and finally at the end we will see any major bugs are there in the build or not with my final verdict. So now without further ado let's get started. On the new adventure. After completing the setup, ROM booted to the Cherry OS stock boot animation. So after completing the setup, let's go to the about phone to check the new changes. Android version is Android 13 with the new interesting easter egg which unveils after dialing the clock to the 1 pm. Cherry OS version is same 4.0 like old build. But this one is the stable build security patch is updated to the latest phone September 2022. Maintainer of this ROM is because of Optimus doing the great job giving the regular updates of the ROM. Build date is of 8 September 2022. Kana version is like same old build, it is 4.9.258 build date with the Proton Clang tool chain 12. Say Linux is enforcing. Let's check out what fixes has been done as compared to the old build along with the minor bugs we still present in the ROM. First one they fixed the NFC which was buggy in the last build but now it's working perfectly. Call recording that's not working in the last build is still not working in this build also, it's showing the recording error. Some important bugs are still present in the camera application of this build. ROM has a simple camera 2 application so I installed the Gcam MGC build and tested all the old bugs. In the camera night mode, portrait mode for the front and the back camera both are working but when you take the picture they are not displaying in the camera application and not even in a stock gallery application. But they are only visible inside the camera app when you take the picture using the stock camera. So I downloaded the another third party gallery application from the play store there I got all the pictures taken with the Gcam. Slow motion not working except that the time lapse panorama and the photo sphere mode all are working. 60fps for the 4k recording are also not working. Another bug is for the front camera for the Gcam where the front camera is not taking the picture sometime it's causing the force close so we need to use the stock camera application. These are the bugs for the third party Gcam application. I didn't test these issues for any other camera build. Let's check out the performance of the ROM. Like the last build, ROM is super smooth and fast. Apps opening and closing is seamless. But sometimes you may feel the lag suddenly while using any task. I use a Geekbench to compare the results with the old build. Here for the single core I got the score of 505 and for multi core I got 1937. And it's almost similar to the old build with the minor difference. You can check the old build results from the iCard video. They directly jump to the performance test timeline to check the results. On the OpenGL drives I got the score of 2251. Here it's also nearly same as old build. There I got 2266. While for the Vulkan graphics I got the score of 1856. Here the results are lower down as compared to the old build. There I got the score of 1928. Now let's check out what are the new features were added in this new build. They bring back the game space setting which can be found under the setting and the application. It has lots of the different toggles and the tabs to improve your gaming experience without much interference. It has the new game space overlay which shows us the time, CPU usage percentage, CPU temperature and the battery life details. We also get the toggle for the performance mode, stay awake, screen FPS and the log gesture setting. In Cherry setting we get the all the different tabs which has the lots of customizations. Under the quick setting they added some new customizations that were found in the Android 12 builds. Like the quick setting panel transparency slider and the QS style style toggle. Both of these settings gives us the amazing look to your quick setting panel as you can check on the screen. They also added the new data uses footer in the quick setting panel which shows you the total data uses. In the tile layout we get the height tile and the vertical tile layout which also gives something different look to your quick setting panel. 
In the buttons tab, we get the volume panel left right position toggle. It also has the volume rocker wake up toggle which gives us the phone wake up option using the volume keys. Animation tab is still blank and these features will be added in the new build. Under the lock screen tab, we get the edge lightning setting along with the different option to customize the edge lightning. We get such amazing edge lightning indicator when you get any notification. Except these other settings are already available in the old build so no need to check them again here. In the OnePlus setting last time we seen the bug for the touch gestures and in this stable build that bug is still here. These settings causing the force close of setting application. In the setting and under the system tab we get the OT update and it's working for the new OT notification and the seamless updates. Under the gesture option here double tap to wake the lock screen not working in the old build. But in this build it's working now while waking up the lock screen it first pop up the ambient display later again double tapping it pop up the lock screen display. So these are all the lots of customizations were brought back in the Android 13 which can be found in Android 12 also. We already discussed most of the bugs except that there are no any major bug I found but the bug of OK Google still found in my device. And whenever I try to use the OK Google media playback causing lags so I generally prefer to keep it off. Battery life is still not tested yet but this time I will use this build for the 2 to 3 days and bring back another video for you with the unbiased battery performance results like I done for the Evolution X. You can check that video from the right side I card. As per my final verdict most of the bugs are still present in this stable build but they are not deal breaking to you to use this ROM as a daily driver. So that's it for today guys if you think I help you then please do like and share this video subscribe to the channel. Press the bell icon for the notification of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye bye.